Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J, customers first. Welcome to another episode of Cruising Now. Not exactly ideal conditions today. Normally I'd be outside walking around the car, but it's raining quite a bit and with my hair, I don't want to get it all messed up. So we decided to go ahead and sit here in the vehicle. Uh, I am out in front of the Triple J Honda dealership in Timoni. Yes, they're open. Uh, and if you're still not uh, too confident about uh, going out in public and going uh, to talk to people face to face, you can go to carsguam.com. They've got their full inventory up there. They've got some great deals as well. So you can check out all of their inventory and deals on carsguam.com. And today I'm sitting in a 2020 Honda Ridgeline. Now, if you're in the market for a truck, you've looked around and you realize that full-size trucks are huge and they're expensive. Maybe that's not for you. Well, the Honda Ridgeline is perfect. It's a mid-sized truck, but it doesn't sacrifice any of the truckness. Uh, so you've got the bed, you've got plenty of cargo back there. It's good for all your outdoor activities. Throw a bunch of stuff in the bed. You can head off into the hills, into the jungle. Uh, it can handle that. And it's equally adept uh, on the road, cruising the nightlife. You're dressed up fancy. You're going out to a nice dinner. Uh, the Honda Ridgeline is capable anywhere you want to take it, city, off-road or wherever uh, the 2020 Honda Ridgeline it's actually pretty affordable too so if you're in the market for a truck definitely check it out go to carsguam.com to find out more today we're gonna go ahead and get cruising and we're gonna go talk to Ben Ferguson about a virtual UGM that's the United Guam Marathon so keep it here Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J, customers first. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J, customers first. We're here at Three Squares, beautiful dining facility. Uh, I believe you can uh, order food for delivery, takeout, so uh, make sure you look them up. And uh, we're talking today to event director of the United Guam Marathon, Ben Ferguson. Ben, good to uh, talk to you again. Good to be here, Andy. It's been a while since I've talked to you. <laughs> it's indeed been a while. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've had you on my show uh, several times over the years talking about the United Guam Marathon. Uh, which has always been a fun event, uh, a labor of love of yours, because there is a lot of work that goes into it. So let's talk about UGM and uh, how you guys have gotten to this point where you are now. Yeah, so this would have been our eighth year, and I guess is our eighth year of the event. Uh, the event started in 2013, uh, created it because we wanted to bring a first class marathon event to the island. And I think over the years, we've successfully created that event. Uh, we wanted to create an event that brought visitors to the island. And I think we've demonstrated over the years that that has been the case as well. This year, uh, we have 800 runners registered from Japan, and we have in excess of 300 runners registered from Korea. Uh, noting that registration uh, was ended, uh, prematurely due to the COVID crisis. And so we felt as though we were on track to probably achieve a thousand runners from Japan and 
and uh, Korea typically registers late, and so we probably would have done somewhere around 700 runners from Korea. Yeah. So it would have been the biggest event that we've had so far from an international standpoint, and then historically, we normally do anywhere between 2,000 and 2,500 resident slash military runners here on the island. So we were on track for a really good event, and then of course, Things went a little bit off track yeah, uh, with, yeah. uh, with COVID. That happens. But uh, the international aspect of the, the, the marathon, that you, that's something you really, you really focused on. You wanted this to be a destination event, a destination run, uh, but not exclude the locals. You've always yeah, done right. a huge yeah. thing uh, to benefit the local runners that want to get out there. I just want to do a 5K with my mm -hmm. family. Uh, and then you have those competitive runners that, I mean, you're setting course records, I think, every year when they run it. Uh, you wanted to have a good mix of uh, both of those types of runners. So how did you go about drawing in those professional runners? Yeah, so um, that has been an interesting process. So Guam is uh, gifted in that there's quite a few gifted runners here on the island. There's a lot of great runners here on Guam. Uh, and so we wanted to balance creating an event that, that uh, appeals to that type of runner, but while also creating an event for the casual runner, for the person that wants to walk a 5K. And so in order to do that, we made a decision early on to offer all four race distances, so 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon. That also has the added benefit of attracting a larger audience internationally. And so we're able to attain runners from Japan and Korea that perhaps want to just come down to Guam for a three-day staycation or vacation and just hang out on Guam. Not purpose built for running a competitive event, but come down and do a 5K and experience the half a day spirit of other runners uh, while you're doing it while also attracting those runners that do want to seriously compete, we've drawn the line at uh, trying to attract runners that, you know, that, that are running in the low two hours for a marathon. There are a lot of runners out there that, that go from event to event to event and do that type of thing. So um, we think we've got a good balance right now between those runners that want to do something that's competitive. It's a good course, it's AIM certified. So if you run a particular time on our race course, you'll qualify for oh, other okay. events like the Boston Marathon. Oh, excellent. While also offering an event to the community that has a lot going for it in terms of just stuff going on. The expo, there's and always the post a lot race party. Going on. I mean, you, you know, there's you're, a, you're down a, there on race morning. There's a party leading up to right. the, with the expo, and then the morning of. I mean, you've got fireworks. There's bands playing. Starting at 2 a.m. Yes, <laughs> it's it's just it, it's an experience. It's yeah. not just show up. The gun goes off. Everybody runs, comes back. You want to make it an entire experience for the runners, regardless if you're. 65 years old and just want to walk a 5K, or you're a competitive runner from Korea, everyone gets a great experience from the race. Well, for those of us that call Guam home, and I've been fortunate to call Guam, Guam home now for 31 years, there's a feeling that we have in our community here, and we, we like to refer to it as the half a day spirit, but one of the primary objectives with the event was to create something whereby visitors to the island would really be able to experience that feeling that we all feel all the time right. when we do events. Ordinarily, someone that visits Guam as a tourist is gonna come to a Guam and stay in a hotel and go to some restaurants and do some optional tours. They don't really have an opportunity to mingle with people in the community right. like they do with an event and kind of see how the community puts together something. I, in some ways, got this idea from doing events in Japan. I, okay. I uh, did some cycling events in Japan and some running events in Japan. And it was always a great experience for me because, of course, I've been to Japan as a tourist, but I'd never been to Japan and mingled with residents of Japan doing, a, doing an event. Okay. So I always felt it was a really special experience. I was able to eat local food and see local culture and then at the same time do something that was good for myself. So for me, it was a great opportunity to learn from that and then kind of bring that here to the island right. eight years ago. Yeah, and it's been quite an experience leading up to it. But this year, obviously, we faced some changes. And when we come back, we're going to get into how the United Guam Marathon is evolving and adapting due to the COVID-19 pandemic.
Buy with confidence. It's the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Buy with confidence. It's the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. And welcome back to Cruising, sitting down here with Ben Ferguson, the event director of the United Guam Marathon. We talked a little bit about the history, about how you've crafted it into this experience, regardless of the ability of the runners. And then COVID-19 happened. <laughs> That's right. And this is not something that just affects one industry. The entire world is affected by this. Yeah. And we've seen events sports we were talking a little bit before we went on we miss live sports Indeed. so everybody's had to kind of adapt evolve and uh, nobody's saying hey this is easy it's going to be a walk in the park but we've got to do what we got to do to uh you know at least make the most of what we have now so the united guam marathon you guys have said hey we're continuing with this we're going to do it in a virtual setting explain how you came to the decision to go virtual yeah, so obviously that was an evolving process. And so, you know, we knew early on, beginning in, say, February, that this, the COVID uh, pandemic had the potential to affect the event. And so we paid very close attention to what was going on here on Guam, but also what was going on in the world and with other events. And it became pretty obvious that uh, in March that doing the event in April just wasn't on the table. And so we were forced with either canceling, the, with the decision to either cancel the event or to postpone the event. Well, we wanted to be optimistic in the process and think that things would uh, evolve in a good way in terms of uh, what was going on with COVID exposures. And Everybody things was hoping for the best. Yeah, Everybody was hoping for the best. Yeah. And so we made the decision to push the event back to September, thinking that by then things will be calmed down and we could actually hold a safe event. Mm. As the summer began and as June uh, began, it became pretty apparent that that wasn't going to be the case, that uh, this uh, crisis that we're in was here to, uh, here to stay for a while. And so we made the decision to cancel the event entirely. Not an easy decision whatsoever no, no. because a lot of people, uh, number one, have paid registration fees for the event, uh, but number two, have trained for the event and look forward to the event. And so, we wanted to do two things uh, as part of that decision-making process. One was ensure that the runner that has paid a registration fee for the 2020 event uh, is able to participate in the 2021 event at no cost to them. And so anyone that's registered in the 2020 event and has paid a registration fee will be automatically deferred oh, wow. to 2021. Okay. Now, that works for the vast majority of individuals, but there are some individuals, say members of the military community, that are relocating to another destination. So what we've also done is allowed anyone that's registered to transfer their registration fee to anyone else. And so if you're a member of the military community and you're being relocated, you can just transfer your registration fee to someone else and work something out with them. Even if you're a resident and you don't feel as though you want to do it in 2021, transfer it to someone else. So we've tried to make this as painless as possible for the resident runner. In a perfect world, I guess it'd be great if you could issue refunds to everyone right. and let them make their own decision. But unfortunately, the economics of the event are such that there's so much expense born in the beginning of the event for event merchandise and marketing and all of these various things that by the time you get to March, the ability to do that would basically be a death knell for the event. And we didn't want that to happen, but we also wanted to take care of the runner. And so we felt as though deferring entry fees to 2021 would be a good, uh, you know, a good compromise. Uh, and then we also wanted to ensure that if possible, let's do something fun and allow us to recognize runners that have trained for this year's event and also reward them with event merchandise that they ordinarily would have gotten, which we have everything. We have t-shirts and medals you guys, and bibs. One and thing about the United Guam <laughs> Marathon, it seems like every year, right when the race is done, day of, 
you're already planning the next right. one. You're already got the early bird registration. I mean, we have you guys on eight months it, in advance. It, so. it, you know, it's, it's funny because you really need to think in, I mean, it's a year round event. Yeah. It, it, the, the planning for the event, the organizing, the event never really stops. Um, and so uh, that's always a part of the process that makes things a little bit more challenging when things like this pop up is because then you're forced to make decisions on, okay, so how do we want to proceed with this so that again, the economics of everything work out. So we feel as though this virtual event is great in that it's never been done on Guam before, not to my knowledge anyway. Um, and it's going to provide the running community with something different and something fun that they can do individually. Uh, and it allows us to take care of them and provide them with what they would have gotten if had they done the event. A lot Obviously, of people no run party. just for the t-shirts. Yeah, that's the right. The dry fit, you know, that's why they do it. Uh, but virtual, you want a virtual race. How exactly does a virtual race work? Because I'm still trying to struggle. I'm getting my brain around this. Like, you know, it's a learning process for do all Do I just of us. put on goggles and yeah. pretend I'm running? Or what? Yeah, there you go. So well, uh, yeah. how does the virtual race go? Interestingly, so um, this is being done quite a bit in the States. In fact, uh, as you were chatting, as you and I were chatting about earlier, the Boston Marathon is doing this. Um, so effectively what this means is that you as a registered runner are entered into the virtual race for free, so you're automatically entered into it. If you're registered for the 5K, for example, let's say you registered for the 5K, all we would ask that you do between September 5th and September 13th, that's the period of time in which you can run your virtual event, go out and run a 5K, either with your friends or by yourself at a casual pace, at a fast pace, whatever pace you want to run it at. All you need to do after you've done it is go into our website, click on a link that says upload your results. It'll allow you to upload your result with your bib number that's already been assigned to you. And we will log down your result and that's all you need to do. We've you been on asked- On the honor system here? On the or? honor system, uh, okay. completely on the honor right. system. And so, and because of that, <laughs> We've been asked, okay, so are you going to post the results and will there, will there be winners by age division and things of that nature? Obviously, on an honor system basis, we don't have the ability to I do that. I set a world record. That's right. Just well, yesterday, ran a, a two-hour yep. marathon. Two-hour marathon. Amazing. I was up at 1 a.m. and I, <laughs> yeah. I, I hammered that thing out. <laughs> so, you know, we had an internal discussion about whether or not we should publish everybody's results, but we decided not to because, again, it's the honor system. What we don't want is for someone to look at the results and say, wait a minute. And I know that guy. That Andy Wheeler did not run a 17-minute 5K. I, he, he can't do that. I've hosted Even though enough with 5Ks. all this weight you've lost, <laughs> it is possible that you could now do that, I think. <laughs> I'm more aerodynamic now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, yeah, you, you, obviously with the honor system, you know, uh, giving out the medals and all that, uh, it, it's a little different. But you've had sure. to adapt. Uh, and. A lot of it is, you know, hey, people, I signed up. I, I went with the early bird registration. I kind of want to feel like I took part in the event. Sure, and, that's a, and this is a great way for that to happen. And what we're hoping happens is that it becomes a social media event and that people post videos and photos. And ideally, we're working with Run Guam. Um, those folks will publish running routes. A lot of these running routes will finish at the event site. And so ideally we'd have individuals going out as groups, small groups, socially responsible right, right. groups, running the event, and then kind of finishing in Tumon, finishing at Tumon Bay and taking their shoes off and doing the Tumon dip and doing some fun things. Uh, we're going to make available a, a, uh, a uh, finish line tape that you can print out and hold out. Oh, fun. Yeah, so that'd yeah, be yeah. fun. So I think there's, there's lots of different aspects to this that the running community will gravitate towards. Um, I don't think, obviously, we don't want to do this in 2021, right. but it's been fun to plan it for 2020. But I think some kind of virtual aspect of the actual United Guam Marathon would be a fun addition in years uh, in the future. Sure. You know, if somebody is off island when it's happening, I'm off island for business, uh -huh. well, find a park somewhere, wherever you are, run, log the time, and hey, sure. I took part in the UGM from New York or Well, something. it's interesting that you say that because obviously we have runners that have registered for the event. I, I mentioned to you earlier, members in the military community that are registered for the event. So we had some questions. I'm not gonna be here in September. Right. Our response is do it wherever you're at. Do it in New York, do it in wherever, wherever you are, do it and then just log on and, and, and show us your results. So it doesn't really matter where you do it and then we'll make sure we mail your event swag to you. Okay. 
we have 800 runners in Japan that we hope are going to do this. We have runners in Korea that we hope are going to do this. And so, you know, we feel as though we'll be able to pull this off, not just on a local day, local level, but from an international level as well. And regardless of runner ability, uh, if that family has been on the path to getting healthier, running 5Ks, walking 5Ks, they can go out and do it, print out the finish tape, like you said, for the whole family, get pictures of them crossing the line. How fun would that line. be? Yeah, I think that'd be great. Well, you know, so as a sponsor, of course, KOAM is, is entitled to certain registrations. And so oh, we would fully expect <laughs> that, that you and the whole crew are going to go out and do, and do a 5K. <laughs> you know, we've got teams in KOAM that have run the race. I hope you guys do it. Uh, no, you know, I hope you do it. And I, I think it's, you know, one of those things where everybody's got to adapt. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to alter their plans, whether that be vacations, business, work, things like that. And then with these big events, uh, we've all got to do our part, you know, wear the masks when you, when you can and uh, evolve. You guys have done a great job at that. Uh, the website, unitedguammarathon.com. Mm -hmm. All the information is up there. Uh, you can still register for the virtual uh, race. Yes, you can. So and the virtual event registration actually opened today. Okay. So open July 1. Uh, we'll close on September 4th. Uh, registration fee for the virtual event is $30. Again, if you've already registered for the event, you're, already, you're automatically registered. There's no additional fee for you. But those individuals that didn't register for the April event can register for 30 bucks and do the virtual event. Fantastic. Uh, anything else we uh, want to get the well, word you know, out? I think what I'd like to also add to our conversation, Andy, is this type of stuff isn't made possible without the support of our sponsors. And right. so, of course, we have United uh, that's been a big supporter in all of this, including the virtual event and, of course, Guam Visitors Bureau and Pacific Islands Club. Those are our three gold sponsors. And then there's a whole host of other sponsors, KUAM included, that support Whenever the event I and, and make the it event, possible. It takes me about 20 minutes to read the to sponsor get through list it. when I'm there. Yeah, so <laughs> well, a you lot know, of people come together sure, to make Sure, and I happen. think what's cool is that the sponsors are supporting the virtual event and we'll do some promotions together with the virtual event. And then, of course, uh, our runners that have made the event possible, you know, we have to give a shout out to them. Um, one last thing, which is a, a bit of a funny, is that um, there's obviously probably 600 volunteers that support the event on race morning, getting out there right. beginning at midnight. Uh, a lot of individuals that work at PIC and United and GVB and our sponsors and a whole host of groups that come out and support the event. It was funny when I broke the news to our team at PIC, which is probably the biggest support crew of all. We probably have 200 people to go out there and work it. Imagine how <laughs> somewhat relieved they were to know that they actually didn't have to work the event this year. They're like, "Wait a minute, yeah. we're doing a virtual. Huh. That means we don't actually have to go out and, and do the do the work that morning." I said, "Yeah, you get a free pass this year. <laughs> Enjoy it." <laughs> But if you still want to go stand out on the side of the road at midnight, yeah, uh, please right. help yeah, yourself. Please go ahead. Hand out Virtual water. volunteering. <laughs> Hand out there water to people just walking by. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Uh, but ben, thanks, always Andy. a pleasure. Yeah. We're looking forward to the virtual event. And I have a feeling that next year when uh, things are back to normal, United Guam Marathon is going to be bigger and better than ever. Hope, hope so. And appreciate, uh, appreciate all the support. Thank you. All right. That's Cruz, and we'll be back. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first.